Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing another talky IRL video. This is the third one in a row I've done actually. Apparently we're not a gaming channel anymore. <laughs> but no, today's an important one. Ever since Stampy ended his lovely world, I have been getting comments every single day. Emails, Instagram, Twitter. People have been asking me questions and I thought I'd sum it up in a video because I'm bored of the questions. <laughs> And most of it's to do with this video, not actually to do with his lovely world ending, although I have had a lot of questions on that, which I will get to. So yeah, we are going to be reacting to this video. Now, I'm not a sleazy react channel, so you're not going to see me for 45 minutes in the corner just going, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm just going to watch the important bits and leave in the bits that I actually have something to comment on. Uh, if you want to go watch the video yourself, watch the whole thing before watching this because this is just going to be my opinions on the comments that I have been asked. So yeah, before we get into this video, obviously Stampy's Lovely World has ended. I had a couple of questions. The first one is, have you seen it? So I have watched the ending. I haven't seen the whole video all the way through just because I haven't really been keeping up with the series and I have no idea what's going on. But I like the ending. It was a really nice ending. I thought it'd be kind of funny if Stampy did like a previously on Stampy's Lovely World and then it's just like 45 minutes of dramatically shot hit the target references and storyline but no he didn't do that so i have no idea <laughs> and the other main one is squid how come you weren't in the final episode and to that i say i don't think i should have been i think over the course of the series i did about eight to ten episodes something like that so in the grand scheme of things i was there for like one percent of the whole series so i wasn't a main character i was literally just a guest and the people who actually helped Stampy in his lovely world week after week, months, years, they were the ones that deserved to be in the final shot, and they were. So that's what I wanted to happen, and I'm glad that he didn't just sneak me in there because I didn't want any sort of credit in the, the lovely world thing because it wasn't my series. It wasn't anything to do with me. But anyway, let's just move on to the video. And uh, yeah, let's see what Stamps has to say. I haven't actually watched this, so... I'm just going to be skipping through and commenting on the parts and hopefully answering some of the questions that I've been getting. Hello everyone and welcome to a video where I am going to be talking about primarily three things. Why did I end my Lovely World series? Um, how do I feel about it? And what am I going to be doing next? The decision to end Lovely World was made when I decided to start Lovely World because it was going to end in some way at some point. So I guess the question I'll ask is... Unless you're squid and then you just, you know, stop random series because you've had enough of them. <laughs> That's the one thing about stamps that I must say is that... He's very committed and he sees stuff through. So fair play to him for seeing it through for like 10 years. Like that's crazy. Yeah, I've been doing it for a really, really long time. And it's got to the point now where a lot of the people watching my videos, and it's not everyone, uh, are kind of coming back for like a nostalgia fix. Oh, everyone's coming back for nostalgia. But it's kind of like, um, I don't know, it's like a double-edged sword because on one aspect that it's nice that people are coming back and showing appreciation, but again, from my perspective, um, it's also like you feel old and they're only coming back for nostalgia and they're not interested about you now. So it's a little bit weird and I guess from Stampy's perspective, he kind of wants to be rid of that. He wants people to be focusing on now, what's he doing now, okay? you can. It's not good to dwell on everything that you've done before and redo that over and over again because I'm, I'm guessing like you know it just doesn't do you any favors <laughs> if you're gonna dive into stuff now like i did pixelmon and stuff like that it's because i actually really want to go back to it because i enjoyed it also there was a hint of nostalgia in there but it meant i could play with ash again we could do some more good times and have some more fun and that was generally because i wanted to experience stuff for now i get where he's coming from he wants to kind of let go of the past which is perfectly normal it's healthy the idea of being like a vessel for nostalgia isn't very appealing like <laughs> i saw um <laughs> like I i've been doing the 24 7 live streams of old videos and i saw someone like join the chat and they said sup nostalgia lists <laughs> and that like <laughs> like once again like that person's right like that's why a lot of the people were there like no you know no um, I guess nothing bad to, to that person, but that just kind of really did drive home like, oh yeah, like that is what a lot of, you know, my YouTube is. And I know that isn't everyone. I know there are people that still are kind of just watching or are, are new uh, comers to the, the channel and are just watching anyway. But like, let's be real. Like that's what a lot of it is. And the problem with being popular, like, you know, 
10 years ago <laughs> is the fact that people grow up and you kind of lose the majority of your audience and that's fine um, but it's something that you've kind of got to deal with where you know a lot of these older channels they have the same sort of audience that will carry on watching them because they started watching when they were older so they, they still have the same sort of mentality and the same sort of taste but obviously people that started watching us were kids like from my perspective this year has been crazy from just with people coming up to me and, and talking to me and, and they're adults now and I've never had that before before it used to be kids or you know awkward teenagers and you didn't really get to conversate with them but now it's everywhere you go there's just people everywhere this year has been literally the craziest year for people last week I had three people in a cafe the same cafe I went to McDonald's drive through the, the guy recognized me at McDonald's I went to Aldi big up Aldi and the cashier registered me recognized me sorry and I'm like what is going on this is this is insane <laughs> I don't have any interest like in in doing that for like the rest of my life like I don't want my career to be like looking backwards at like hey do you, do you remember that and repackaging and um, kind of just reminiscing on those old times like that isn't interesting to, to me yeah he's just solidified it there he's basically just said what I thought he was going to say and he's, he doesn't want to be that person anymore which is good for you mate honestly I'm excited to see what the new Stampy has to offer if he's sticking around I don't know <laughs> the Stampy that you have been aware of like the YouTube persona of Stampy is really only just a small percentage of me like I have a, a whole life outside of YouTube. I have interests and hobbies and friends and things that I do completely unrelated to, to YouTube. So even if, you know, I'm kind of stopping doing Lovely World and stopping doing Minecraft videos, like in, in, in general, more on that later, um, what? like that doesn't mean that I, I'm, really? I just still carry on. Like it's not as big of a change as it is for me because the only part that you've seen is the the part that I've selected and decided to, to put out for, for you to, to view. I think, I mean, a lot of YouTubers are like that. Everyone has a, you know, you kind of put online what you want people to see in that little segment of your life. But, you know, behind closed doors, people, uh, they have hobbies, they do, they go out, they, they have families. Um, I spend most of my time now with Finn and I love being a dad and that's kind of my purpose at the minute and I'm very happy with that. And, um, you know, like he said, Stamps is a completely different person. You should see him off camera. He's an absolute animal. Crazy. He likes boxing on his Tuesdays. He goes skydiving on Wednesdays. And then he has a nice relaxing massage on a Thursdays. <laughs> Stamps is, is a little bit different to his character. I wouldn't say massively different, but you only ever see a little bit of him. I know what he's like. <laughs> I don't want to to you know keep going for as long as it's viable and it is still viable like i could still have a career continuing doing lovely world like that was an option um but i think just for my mental health and i think to be honest for the the best interest of viewers as well it kind of yeah now was the the time to, to end it so hopefully but that's interesting to hear and it's you know completely understandable it's been 10 years and i don't think a lot of people understand like the sort of thing that goes into to making these videos um especially from you know planning building just hours upon hours in a, in a blocky game and you've got that commitment every single week for 10 years which is insane really and it is going to play a part in your mental health everything every every time you go anywhere it's like oh this video's got to be uploaded or oh i can't really go on holiday before i batch this amount of episodes and oh maybe this update's dropping and i might need to be in in this in on this day and a lot of the time with youtube and especially a, a scheduled series like his um you have to be committed and the thing with being committed is it's hard to kind of focus your attention to other things in your life because you've got this thing to be doing on wednesdays and saturdays and wednesdays and saturdays and wednesdays and saturdays every single week you know if you're doing a big christmas special you're not really in the mindset of oh i'm going to enjoy a, a nice christmas with my family you might be worried about is this video going to go out on time? It's always in the back of your mind. And YouTube's not one of them jobs that you can kind of leave at 5pm and pick up on Monday morning at 9am. YouTube's a constant job. You're always thinking about what am I doing next? And it's, it's you know, this big sort of mental strain. You take your work home with you, always, until you finish what you are doing. And I don't know if that's where he's coming from, but... I think he will definitely feel a lot of weight lifted off his shoulder and he can actually <laughs> relax. Um, not to say that he hasn't enjoyed it, I'm sure he has enjoyed it over the 10 years, but it definitely um, takes its toll on you. So, good for you, mate. I'm happy for you.
like hopefully you understand from in the position I'm in that now is the the time for for me to, to end it and it's always a, a weird balance with videos where you know I'm always trying to do what I want to do but also audiences would want as well and I think this is a, a case where there's a lot of people saying like no please carry on please carry on please no please keep doing it and I think they're not thinking about my side and you know I I think you've got to kind of meet me in the in the middle a little bit here but I think most people kind of would understand that and appreciate it and accept that <laughs> like if I'm not <laughs> wanting to make it like there's no value of that and also a lot of people saying no 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 carry on carry on carry on but there seems to be a lot more people saying that than we're actually watching the videos at the time and then, and then like they're talking about videos that I made like six years ago and it's like well they're already there <laughs> like like I, it's me carrying on making these videos will not bring you back to to your childhood basically so um yeah mostly it's been really lovely messages but i kind of wanted to, to address those people uh yeah and i think that brings me on to like the the first question is i get a lot uh, recently is you know are you gonna do another crazy craft are you gonna do another race to the moon are you gonna do another this are you gonna do another that and i think stampy's kind of summed it up there just because we're not gonna be doing anything else like that doesn't mean that you can't go back and watch them videos and appreciate what we did at the time. I think a lot of people hope that if you make like a sequel that it's going to be just as good and it won't be because you kind of redoing it and hoping that it's going to be as good as the first one and you're trying to bring back sort of their memories. There's a lot of pressure and it, it never it never kind of hypes up to it because people are always chasing nostalgia. People are always chasing that feeling when they were kids. You know, nostalgia is not about the content, it's about how you were feeling at the time. And it's just the fact that you was watching us at the time, you feel nostalgia because that's where you were in your life. You know, you didn't have you didn't have a job, you didn't have to worry about stuff like that. You were just you and your PJs eating some chocolate watching um, <laughs> us on the screen. And uh, yeah, so that kind of sums up the first question for me when people have been asking me a lot, like what's happening now between you and Stamps? Are you going to be doing another series? Are you going to be doing this? Are you going to be doing that? Um, no, <laughs> not really. Um, just because, like I said, there's no point in redoing series. It doesn't um, live up to the hype and it's nice to have what we have already created. So yeah, I think that kind of sums up the first question. There wasn't an obvious ending. Like I think you might imagine that like there's, oh, we record the final episode and I say, bye. And then suddenly I feel sad because I've said bye and I realize <laughs> that it's done. But we, there, there was never a single moment because the final episode, the way it was filmed, as I'm sure a lot of you can imagine, it's not filmed like a normal episode. Um, I don't know, just the fact that it ends in like a montage and stuff and there's like a third person camera at the end and stuff. Like it's not, like there wasn't like that clear moment of me saying, bye, we finished the final episode. So if anything, it was the episode before that, the one playing the Flower Power 2 minigame. That was the one where when I said bye for that Flower one, I was like, well, that's oh my just God, the I haven't last seen that in ages. episode where I load up the game, we record for like 20 minutes. Or I swear that we played Flower Power when I was playing with him like seven years ago. <laughs> Whatever. And then I say bye. Uh, because the last episode, there were so many points you could point to. There was like, when we filmed most of it, then we had to pick up a few shots and then like doing the commentary and stuff like that. There were so many elements you could say, this is the final moment when I finished editing it. So because of that, I think like it was kind of spread out like the feeling of recording the final episode so it was less like oh it's all just done now and i sigh and i go like oh it's all done like that that never really happened it is a little bit heavier just because this is kind of accidentally almost turned into like my soft retirement from youtube in general like oh, yeah. i wasn't doing that many other videos anyway but i'd just done like the big zelda series tears the kingdom which was like a hundred episode which ended like not long ago um and then like I'm doing this and at the moment I'm not recording anything else and I guess I'll get into that a little bit more when I talk about what's what you know what I'm doing next but like when I finish this video like that's kind of you know that's kind of it for like series that I have planned at the at the moment so it's kind of ended up being but it's not just oh I'm ending lovely world but also oh, I've got, got a new Zelda video I've got to get out by Thursday like <laughs> <laughs> like it's kind of it, it feels like bigger it really feels like a, a wow well I, as I say like I haven't seen this before, so that's like my genuine reaction. And that's um, understandably why I've been getting a lot of comments because a lot of people have been messaging me saying, so does this mean you're not going to be playing with Stampy anymore? What's happening with Stampy? And I'm like, what the hell is going on? And I guess this is what people are on about. Like literally, they've been messaging me like, are you going to be doing any more videos with him because of this? I didn't know that this was kind of wrapping up. I wouldn't say he's on about his whole channel, but for the foreseeable future, it sounds like he's kind of done which is 
I'm, I, you know what? I'm happy for him. If, if this is the kind of point where he's like, right, I want to step away, then, you know, fair play. It, like I said before, it kind of takes a lot mentally. And for me, when I had Finn in 2021, um, you know, I took like a year and a half off YouTube. And, and that break for me was in such a good point because I was so burnt out from the past eight years. I needed it. I needed to... I needed something else to kind of focus on and just reset my mind on. That's why now, when I'm doing YouTube, it's more of a hobby for me. You know, I, you know, I'm looking after Finn. We'll go places together. I see stuff with him for the first time. We make memories, and then at the end of the day, I come on here and it's my little bit of creativity and I absolutely love it. I love that I can come back to YouTube now and it's a hobby. I'm happy the way things are because the views aren't as much. I don't get as many comments. And it feels like that magical time when I first started the channel when nobody was watching and I got like three, four comments and I could reply to people and I could read everything. And it feels like a much smaller community now and I love it so much because it's manageable. There's no pressure. If I don't upload here, if I don't upload then, it's whenever. Whenever I want to do something, I'll do it. My son is my main priority. And I'm very lucky for that. I'm extremely lucky for that. And I'm happy Stamps is, you know, having a break. Because he's a very creative person. I'm sure that he'll come back and he'll do stuff when he wants to do stuff. But I'm happy that he's kind of got that pressure off him now. Because everyone needs it. He's worked hard. Proper, a proper ending. Um, but it does fit. It feels really nice. Like, I've kind of... I've, I've enjoyed, like, setting up these 24-hour live streams. If you didn't see them, I was kind of playing... Um, like old videos from Lovely World and kind of creating playlists and doing like these are all hit the target episodes these are all mini game episodes these are all episodes followed by behind, uh, behind the scenes or community selected episodes so I've been doing a lot more looking back at old videos which I don't do much normally I finish the video I'm straight looking forward to the, the next one so that's been nice <laughs> but then also all of the, the messages from, from people you know all of the, the people that you know, all of the people that are now adults that were watching me you know when they were children and all of the lovely messages <laughs> and them being able to explain things that they could have never explained as a kid because well one you know often children aren't as articulate as a uh, <laughs> uh, as adults are and also they were like living it they didn't realize you know kind of what i was doing or the impact it would end up having because they were they were in it they were they were living it they were going through that moment at the the time um, but now a lot of my life is spent you know either running to running into people in public which is happening more than it ever has you might imagine like during you know back in 2014 or whatever I'd be getting stopped in the street more. No, it's happening now because they're all adults yes. and it's in, you know, and people are working in cafes and restaurants and shops <laughs> and all over the place. And, um, you know, police officers have stopped me on the street and said they used to watch me when I was a kid, which was a, a strange experience. Get out of jail card there. Do a robbery. Are you stabby? Oh, go on then. Slap on the wrist. I'm glad it's not just happening to me. Obviously, it's not just going to be happening to me, but I'm glad to hear that he's having the same issues as well. Not issues. It's nice. It is nice. But it's crazy how much it's happening. <laughs> um, and so I'm seeing a, a lot more of that. And then uh, just in the, the comments and with messages, with people knowing the finale is coming, like a lot of people uh, are sending really, you know, beautiful messages and sending me video messages about kind of the, the impact that I've had on them. And, you know, it feels lovely. Like I won't, <laughs> I won't lie about it. Like it's really nice <laughs> hearing those messages. And it's very re rewarding that people are constantly asking me about. Uh, is the world download. So people, my whole time I've been doing Lovely World have been said, release a download of the world. Download it. And I always said, Upload I'll release it. it when it's done, which was a little bit of a, a bit of a joke at the time. It's like, oh, when will it be done? When will it be done? They're like, well, it'll be done when I'm like, I'm finished with it. Um, so I always kind of said that as a little bit of a, of a joke to kick the can down the road because I didn't want to release a, a download because it's my world. Get your own world. <laughs> um, so, but now I guess it's kind of almost done, or I guess is done kind of. Um, so yeah, I will be planning to release a world download. So unfortunately, Ooh. I don't have any dates or any specifics to, to announce Hunger now. I've been so focused well. on getting the finale done. The ideas of world downloads are kicked down the can. So my plans are, is I would hope to like release the it can, on it? the Minecraft marketplace, which basically means that anyone on Bedrock will be able to download it, um, no matter what platform you are on. It's just the easiest and most like accessible way to, to do it. Um, like, I'm sure it won't be long until someone converts it to Java and <laughs> it gets spread around that way. Like, it's out of my control, but like, I want to make it 
more of a experience and i've kind of gone back and forth about like how deep to go because i know there are some people that just i want to be in the world like i don't want i want it to look as it looks in videos and so i'm trying to get the balance right like i like the idea of maybe having like a few like kind of easter egg hunts where you've got to try and like maybe solve like um clues to find things i wonder how far he's gonna go with it though because um trying to get every mini game to work would take a long time it'd be good if you guys played on the minecraft voting server where you could do the mini games you could do like whack a mo and stuff like that imagine if every single of these mini game was interactive where there's like a tiny little stampy and it said and explain the rules to you you need to do this you need to do that and it, it was actually like how that server was because that server was amazing but trying to do that on that size scale would take a long long time i guess there's going to be two different types of people there's going to be people that would kind of love that experience i mean personally from my perspective i would enjoy that more because you wouldn't necessarily have to had watch his series to be able to play the mini games like you know if you're going up to a mini game and it explains and you can play just as you see it do you know what i mean and then there's the type of audience that kind of want everything untouched and if there's things broken then things are broken then they probably probably just want everything how it was left which i think is okay but it'd be kind of a shame if you're gonna spend all that time making the mini games why not have it as a big right this is done everything's working you can play any single mini game it's all finished every mini game there's someone telling you how to play it do you know what i mean i feel like that'd be such a good experience uh, and add more but again that's just my comments you know that's just my perspective but um we'll see what happens it'd be pretty cool I'd, I'd love to to go around as well like everyone else would but uh, i'd love to go around it with like he said a bit of like added value rather than just you know this is just like a, a set from stampy's world well not a set but you know what i mean uh so yeah the other thing uh, that's gonna happen is i'm gonna mostly be going offline and I mean that in terms of social media. So I basically am already. Mm. Like, I've never really used Instagram or TikTok. Um, Squashy, if you are in the description, uh, they're Radio been running kind of all of those platforms for me anyway um, for, for a while. Um, so, like, I never really went on there anyway. The only one that I did kind of go on was um, the website formerly known as Twitter. Um, so, yeah, I was on there <laughs> occasionally and. I basically will be just kind of stepping back from that. Uh, I'll be keeping all of those channels. I will use them to make um, announcements and things, but I, I kind of won't be interacting really on those. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm just going to go offline. I, I'm, like I've spent a lot of my time online and I, I think I've always <laughs> been enough, a little man. bit like, like not in those communities too much and not really talking a bunch. Um, mainly just kind of releasing videos and kind of checking through comments. Um, but yeah, I'm basically going to be almost completely stepping back um, from social media. Um, I'm basically out already. It's just that little last toe I'm going to be taking out. <laughs> so um, I guess bear that in mind. Uh, in terms of the Stampy channel, no new plans to do anything on Minecraft. And um, yeah, no new plans to kind of do anything, really. <laughs> so... I say that like I know there will be videos like I know I know there will be a game or something like I know something will come up but as of now I have no current plans and I certainly won't be going back to like you know Minecraft video every day plus other videos you know I won't be going anywhere near that I'm sure something will come up that will take my interest and then I'll end up doing some videos on it I think we can all say especially if there's a lot of Stampy fans watching this that he has deserved it he's deserved the break for however long he wants to leave for um you go for it mate you go get that spa day <laughs> <laughs> oh man i did not expect this, um, from this i video. also uh do have some plans for like a few kind of videos sort of reminiscing on lovely world like i'd like to do like a story recap of like the entire series yes. with everything we hit the target and stuff dramatic previously on stampies love the world and then just a load of dramatic clips from hit the target that'd be good i think like hit like stampy's lovely world for dummies you know you get them books and it's just like simplified i mean i'd watch it if it was simplified to a point where i didn't have to spend like five hours watching it you know what i mean that'd be that'd be pretty i'd, I'd vote for that i'd want to see that
um, and I'm sure maybe I'll do some like top tens or like tier lists or, or something. Um, so my stuff earlier about saying I don't want to spend my whole time like looking back at the, the past, like don't start doing clips of that saying, oh, this aged badly. Like I am <laughs> planning to do like a few things like in the near future, like as the series has uh, has just ended, but that's not my plan on going. So there will be some stuff like that uh, that will be coming out. So stay subscribed. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that's not my plan to do that for a lot going forward. I'm sure there'll be video ideas that I'll come up with, um, you know, may maybe even some in Minecraft, maybe, maybe probably Probably like a stampy short or something maybe i'll have an idea for something like that you know um but as it is now i don't have anything in the works like this wow. World video is kind of like the end i guess of regular videos that i have planned so so yeah i mean um like one of the main questions is are we going to be doing anything together and judging by this probably not um so yeah that answers that question not for the foreseeable future not until he messaged me and goes squid do you want to do this? I think I've tormented him enough over the years um, in Minecraft and um, Human Fall Flat. <laughs> but no, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad he's um, he's having a break. And um, sometimes you do need to step back and have a, a, a good break just for your mental health. And it might not be a break. It might you know it might might, might be a long term thing. Who knows? But you know I'm happy for him. I'm very happy for him. And what else am I going to be doing with my time? Because I'm going to suddenly have a bunch more free time. So one of the things I really want to do is I want to go back to writing my novels. I'm writing novels. Did you know that? Um, no. I've written three. <laughs> Can you believe it? Where are they? Oh, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, I've <laughs> I have a plan to write uh, four novels. Jesus. Uh, which is the with the Stampy Cat character. Oh. Um, I won't say too much more Live about it. I've been movie. doing a vlog series mm -hmm. on my other channel, kind of talking about that process. If you're interested about oh, everything we've done to, to now, um, none of them are, are released. Basically, it's my first time trying to write any long form fiction, and I've been kind of using it as a way to learn. Freshly shaved as well. I think I prefer stubble stampy. This is looks like he's just got a slippery face. Look at that. <laughs> has nothing to do with the video. how to get better Let's at writing. On. I went back to college to, to kind of learn um, how to improve my writing skills. And so I've been doing that for uh, a while. Anyway, you can watch the rest of his video. I'm not going to just sit and watch him talk about books. I think that's pretty much sums it up. Hopefully I've answered some questions. I mean, I really just want to watch that anyway because a lot of people just told me to react to it and uh, have my opinion for some strange reason. But hopefully, um, yeah, that answers some questions. The main one is I don't think we're going to be collaborating anytime soon. Um, obviously I answered the questions about the lovely world and stuff. But the main thing is I'm happy for him. I think he's he deserves a break and... Um, yeah, he's done well. Yeah, I've enjoyed this. I think it's been a nice little sit down catch up. It's it's been interesting to hear what he's had to say. And uh, like I said, hopefully this has answered some questions. If there is going to be any other questions, I'm just going to point to this video. There is pretty much nothing else I have to say on the matter, so we can move on with some other crap we'll upload. <laughs> but anyway, guys, my name's been Screwdly. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Two weeks left to get your limited edition Squidoodly plushie. Link below. Also, I'm going to leave a link for Stampy's video if you want to go watch it all the way through. Watch it below. Leave him a nice comment. He deserves it. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.